Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about defining functions. Functions are very useful to use. And at the very beginning of your programming, you may not feel the need to define functions, uh, especially if you've never programmed before, but it is a really important way to reduce redundancy, make code more readable, and as well allow you to make changes across your program without having to find every single line. So essentially a function is just a set of code, lines of code uh, that allow you to perform a set of actions given a set of arguments. So we're going to define a function that's called squaring. And then we're going to pass through an argument, in this case just one argument, uh, the value of x. And we're just going to print what the square of x is, which is x times x. Nothing too complicated here. Now all, all I have to do here is I can do squaring and Python will recognize it as a function and it'll ask me to pass through a number for x. So I'll, I'll do 4. And then it will then go to this function, pass through the value 4, and then do whatever lines of code it, it has. There you go. So pretty simple. I could have done it this way where I go x is equal to x, or y is equal to x times x and then print me y. There you go. So pretty, pretty simple. Uh, that's one way of approaching it. Another way of approaching it would be to return the value of y instead of printing it. And at the very beginning, you may not see very many um, differences between the two. So, but it is absolutely different. So here we're going to return y instead of printing it. And now, now what we're going to do here is we're going to make uh, the, let's just call this uh, the square, squared is equal to squaring 4. And now I can print squared. Uh, there you go. So it seems like the same thing, but now I can feed this into other functions, other parts of my code rather than just being limited to printing. So that's a really big difference. And most of the time, you're going to be returning a value. So that's an important part. So you're going to be returning. So really, it returns the result of this, which allows you to, ha again, put this value into to other instances and, and, and put into other parts of the program rather than just being limited to printing to, to the screen. So if you have any other questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, if, if you thought this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to watch the previous nine videos or so. And don't forget to subscribe. And we're going to be posting our Python web scraping beginner tutorial uh, shortly. So if there's any other items or components that you want us to cover in Python or, or in web scraping, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.